What's up, my pretties? I got a message for you all. Listen, okay, so um, I'm I'm seeing a, a beautiful relationship, okay? Power couple. They said this person is a breath of fresh air. You feel like, I think I'm in love again, again. You are the prototype, baby. I think I'm in love, love again. I really like that song, y'all. The video, too. I'm all about the star sea energy. You know what I'm saying? They move like this in the video, like, you know, they're otherworldly, okay? That's, that's you know. <laughs> but some of y'all that are, that resonate with that kind of energy, you're probably looking for somebody that's just like that. Like, yeah, I mean, I need, I need a dude that's from another world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have best of both worlds here. Um, I feel like when you, I feel like, okay, so let's just get into the, look, lifelong commitment. Is he as well? Then we have seduction and tainted love under that. So I was about to say, I feel like whoever this other dude is, right? I feel like there's a, um, okay, place the genders how you see fit, okay, you guys? Not everybody is a, is a woman that I'm talking to and not everybody is heterosexual, okay? So, um, <clears throat> there's a love interest here who um who 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 missed an opportunity with you okay but this one right here i mean come on now i don't gotta put these men in it but you see who that is and you see who that is for those of you who recognize these two men i mean which one would you rather have i like both of them pretty much but i'm just saying this is one obvious choice right so they're saying that this person is going to be different from your last we have the ten of swords the strength and the temperance there may be a leo and a sagittarius here um involved in this okay i feel like this dude one of these dudes is self-sufficient the other is not okay show me the ten of swords i feel like you guys are um definitely tapping into this lying this gate energy so much leo energy has been coming up okay first of all let me tell you why one of the reasons why and i figured this out yesterday is because there's a leo here that's so um there's a leo in the collective or leo's in the collective um who's like in a bunch of bullshit okay um, or you could be attached to a Leo who's in a bunch of bullshit, whatever the case is, right? Um, there's a, it's like a Leo who's like scrambling for money or yeah, scrambling for like, um, trying to be self-sufficient, doing a lot of strange shit for some change. So they came up in everybody readings. Okay. So I just want to say that. And then also, um, because, um, and I'm not saying all Leos are like this, because excuse me, okay? I got Leo in my chart somewhere, somewhere, okay? So I'm not saying that. But anyway, um, that's what I noticed. And then another thing, too, um, there is a, there's Leo, there's that Lion's Gate energy. There's that Lion's Gate energy, all right? Okay, yeah, I feel like you're not, you're not going to be... Some of you guys are, are developing a patience, okay? What is this? Yeah, some of you guys are developing a patience for, you know, the opposite, not the opposite sex. I don't want to keep saying that because, like I said, they, everybody ain't heterosexual for um romance invitations or for romantic partners, okay? Even though you've been stabbed in your back, you're like, all right, you know what? I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to have the strength not to judge everybody based off of, you know what I'm saying, the... I just heard manipulative uh, partners that I've been with or the, you know, low vibrational partners that I've been with or the um, karmic relationships that I've been in, okay? Um, and that's cool. I feel like your ancestors are use, are helping you to block someone out of your energy, which is beautiful. Yes, and, and, and I feel like you guys are coming, you're breaking through some energy where, you know, this person was a burden on your back purposely, okay? So, so for a lot of you guys, this person could have been using magic to um, manipulate your thoughts and stuff. Um, I do feel like this person was trying to tap into your energy to manipulate your mind because, you know, we've been picking that up. Uh, um, today's Sunday, August 7th, FYI, a belt buckle could be of significance, I hope nobody ain't hit y'all with no belt buckle, cause I feel like, fuck, 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 fuck hit me, <laughs> alright, yeah, so this was a blessing, now you're able to look forward with positivity, somebody's hair is curly, or they wear locks in their hair, or their hair is locked, 
Okay, yes, trust trust in this, all right, you guys? I feel like trust that you're free, okay? Stay positive. Trust that this person is blocked out of your energy. Keep doing your spiritual work, praying, all right? Um, some of you guys need to read books that have to do with um, your ancestral culture and how they go how they went about things because there's something in your dna that you may need to tap into that will help you to learn to protect yourself all right look at this magic i told y'all there was magic being done and i feel like there's magic being done on your behalf as well okay yeah with the magic and relaxation and letting go i feel like your people are helping you walk into a new love okay you guys are gonna be um I, I don't know what the hell, but they just was like, this this new dude is going to make you want to arch your back. Chill. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's see. I know I think there's a song that says something about arch your back. That could be a confirmation for somebody as well. Yeah, look at this. We are the world. Your ancestors and the, um, the people from your bloodline. For some of you, this is star seed energy. I think I was just talking about it, okay? Star seed energy. Yeah, with the rebel energy to make you break free. You can't tell me what they do. Where they go. All they dress. Me no poppy show. That's Shansia, the rebel boss position. Okay, so you're going to be transforming from the, the stronghold that your ex had on you, the stronghold that this person had on you. They saying this person is the devil, the goddamn, that is the devil, okay? Yeah, this person was controlling you. I feel like this person really had you spaced out, I do. Like on cloud nine, spaced out, not aware, unaware. Of what they really was doing. I feel like you did know. But I mean come on now. This is like heavy manipulation. Definitely had you under some illusion spells. They could have used water. Water deities. I don't know. Your chakras are healing. Okay. Because of the work that you're doing. Remember like a month ago. Okay, we all was doing that chakra healing. For those of you that was on the live and stuff like that, we all was doing chakra healing. So I feel like, you know, y'all hit the jackpot. Okay, congratulations. Who's sorrowful? So, yeah, this ex could be sorrowful that, yes, this ex could be sorrowful that you're, not, that you're no longer receptive to their controlling energy. For some of y'all, if you still with this person, which I doubt, this could be the end of stages. Like, y'all could be wrapping it up, right? Um... This person is upset because you're not responding to their magic anymore or their control, their words, their manipulation. Like, you ain't trying to heal it. Yellow and banana could be on. Um... <laughs> Yo, somebody is Jamaican because I'm hearing, like, come wine up the table, see, pane kakiya, it long till it been like banana. <laughs> and then you turn back way and sit down, pane. Somebody is packing, honey. Wayne up the table, see for the cocky, yeah. It long till it been like banana. <laughs> Somebody got a big one. Okay? And then, like I said, that arch your back energy. Somebody could like to do it from behind. Do it, do it from the behind. Or do it in the behind. I don't know. Shit. Yeah, I feel like you guys have asked, asked your ancestors, angels, okay, certain deities to help you, okay? You knew that um, this would come into fruition. You kept a positive mind and a pure heart. I feel like because your feelings, you may have cried, okay? Your tears have brought in support in, or, um, in order to help you heal. Like, your tears brought in support from your ancestors and angels or something like that. Some of y'all may have a mermaid background or something, or y'all may have needed help from somebody who was using mermaid deities or marine spirits against you. Okay, so I feel like you guys ask for help. You know what I'm saying? You thank them. You're moving forward. You guys, this is like a somebody is a stripper or something. There's something about like twerk music or arching your back, being your behind, something like that that's going on here. All right, so let's get into this um this other relationship. I'm not gonna say too much, okay, you guys, because <sighs> streets is watching. About 
going to step into a relationship where it's a power couple, okay? You have the green line. You may be wearing pink nail polish right now, okay? There's no need to worry. I feel like there's a lot of worry as far as your love life is concerned. Some of you guys need to cleanse the energy of your home. Show me what the magician is. I spoke about this, um, uh, what is this, the infinity symbol in the last read. And now I see this lady wearing it on her, um, I feel like karma is finally taking place. Somebody is very stressed out about um, if they're going to ever be married, you know. I feel like you guys just need to chill, okay, for those of you experiencing that. Yeah, so basically what's happened is your your judgment is no longer chopped and screwed, you guys. Um, this manipulation that was happening in the background was um, for you to never get married, for you to never find this king of pentacles. He came up in the last read as well, but I feel like you are breaking free from that. For those of you that, that have been clearing your love energy, congratulations. This person was trying to um, sway your decisions, okay? They didn't want you to see them for exactly who they were. They didn't want you to see the truth. And so, you know, you was with this person. Whoever this ex-individual in is, they was, um, what you calling you? Um, working on you. Yeah, they was using magic to work on you. They was using that type of magic where it's like domination. And they wanted you to worship them. What the just to make you go with the flow. Just to make you go with the flow. Whatever they was doing to you, it was, it was fine and dandy okay because of the magic that they were using on you for for some of y'all i'm hearing that um a lot of people in this person's family is like that men women whatever the case is their family's dna has like 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 i don't know if this is succubus or incubus but this is like domination type energy like they want for you not to see them who, for who they are. It could be like glamour spells. Like, you know, you ever stop dealing with a person and then you look at them and you like, you're funny looking. Also, <laughs> what was I thinking? And then why? Right? Because that shit start to wear off. Once it wear off, you like, yo, yo, I was bugging. <laughs> Like, you're like, oh, I was really bugging, right? Okay? Because you were sitting there content in that, contented in that relationship. Like, you probably looking back, I know shit, look. Okay, now that you all weird, that's what I'm saying. Now that you all weird, you like, y'all, yo, I was bugging. I was really bugging. Okay? I feel like staying to yourself has brought you an abundance of blessings, all right? Accepting the past, accepting what it, what it is, you know, Taking it for what it is and learning the lessons and stuff like that, I feel like it has brought you in this energy of a breath of fresh air. You guys are breaking free. Congratulations. Okay? Congratulations. I feel like this is going to be a mystery how this is going to play out. I love the fact that um, Spirit keeps saying that it's, it's a mystery about how things are going to play out because... Um, you know, you know, God really loves you when he hides things from you <laughs> because he's like, not, not when he hides things, but, but because he hides things and he not only hides things from you, he hides it from your enemies. Okay. So as long as you have trust and faith, things will, you know, work out wonderfully, but you're not supposed to know how it is. Cause a lot of times, you know, we could ruin things with certain information. Okay. I feel like this next person that come in, when they tell you they love you, you're going to know that it's authentic because you're going to feel it. You may have dreamt about this person, okay? I feel like you're learning things in your dreams. Um, a lot of, um, I feel like illusions are being cleared up as far as abundance and money is concerned about what you need to do. Some of you guys need to do some solar plexus work or your solar plexus has been restored from this. Somebody was trying to hypnotize another person. I just heard Thoth, Toth, I forgot, I don't know how to pronounce, I think it's, I don't know how to pronounce, yeah, but you're getting um, dreams about which direction you should go in, I feel the owl energy, like an owl, the um, O-W-L is walking with some of you guys, a bear is walking with you guys, yeah, th this is definitely about healing, if you guys have just been working with crystals, it um, it's helping you, um, it's doing an amazing job, you're doing amazing, sweetie, it's giving you power, 
okay? I feel like, listen, this is how it looks when a crystal, when you're wearing a crystal, okay? If your shit is charged right or whatever the case is. Like, I'll be sitting there wearing my crystals and my bra and it, and it creates, you know, depending on what type of crystal, a barrier or some sort of energy field around you that works with your energy field and it syncs with each other, okay? So let's just say I'm sitting there wearing, um, you know, an amethyst. I could have psychic protection or an obsidian. I have, you know, um, protection, period, or um you know whatever we was talking about moldavite on um the last live and it is a very transformative stone somebody here is jewish okay um i feel like you're jewish but you're tapping into um watching tarot and stuff like that and you know if you're wondering if anything is wrong with that um are you learning are you growing is it giving you information that you didn't have are your intentions right Okay, and if the answer to all of those questions is yes, then I don't see the problem. But who am I? You know what I mean? I'm just giving my opinion. I feel like somebody needed to hear that. Okay, so um, let me let me clarify this right here. Damn. Yeah, this person was this person was um, using actual projection through the mirror, some shit like that. I don't know. Sending you love energy through the mirror. Come to me. This is a come to me spell. Think about the past. Come to me. Think about the past. Child. I'm glad y'all cleansed y'all mirrors because that's what this look like. Keep cleaning them constantly. Yeah. Sitting there in, like, in, a, in a dark room with a candle. Like, come to me, think about. Come to me, think about. Come to me, think about me, love me. I don't know. It's chanting. Somebody is chanting, okay? Yeah, somebody is chanting. Don't eat in your dreams, okay? Try very, very hard not to. Some of you guys may love pizza, okay? So somebody could have been trying to present a pizza to you in your dreams or some shit like that or whatever food that you really, really like, okay? I feel like um, this ex-individual is like was really trying to send out some sort of air of intention, um, energetic impulses to you. They could have been using a mirror to do so. Okay. Come to me. Think about me. I love you. You know what I mean? I did not do that that time. It wasn't me type energy. All right. Um, some of you guys can be receiving a text from this person that those you, that this person wants you to, wants to throw you off your square with. Okay. It's a lie, whatever it is, and it's manipulation, all right? So be careful about that. But I feel like these energetic impulses that this ex is sending out wants you to go back on your word or go back on what you know to be true, which is this person is a liar, a deceiver, a cheater, a heartbreaker, and I won't let you back in my life. So I'm taking, all right? Turn away from this person because you have greatness coming to you. I hope that helps. 